before time, before space, there was a blue, no pink, something hard to see, it's invisible, invisible, pink, something that doesn't exist, a unicorn. Invisible pink unicorn, yeah. That's what did it, I'm pretty sure. All those pastafarians flying spaghetti monster crate in the universe 4,000 years ago. Invisible pink unicorn, that's the real god. I got a picture of her back. Well, kind of hard to see. She's invisible and all. Alright, uh, reindeer. You, uh, you've been arguing with Warren 25 Smash. A pretty good conversation y'all got going there. And you say that, well, he probably won't answer back to answering your questions, so I'm not going to answer any of the questions you posed to him. But you did pose some questions for other people to ask, answer. At least I think you said that. It's kind of hard to tell. So, let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, how can something come from nothing? What is the sound of one hand clapping? I don't know. How do pigs fly? Bet you can't answer me that one. Scientists don't know where the universe came from. What started the Big Bang? You're right. They don't know that. I'm a scientist and I don't know that either. So it's, it's a true statement, not really a question. Uh, usually it's up to, to uh, theists to say stuff like that. you got to have faith. I have faith it's an invisible pink unicorn. Uh, it's a flying spaghetti monster. Could be the Great Green Garkle seizure, though. He probably did sneeze this out. I mean, it does sound kind of plausible. I sort of get that feeling. Great Green Garkle seizure. Although, the coming of the big white handkerchief, uh, you know, that's kind of hard. Kind of hard to see how that's going to haul. Fair out. Oh, uh, let's see. Another Big Bang problem. Oh, yeah, uh, one of your others. You say that, well, when the universe exploded... You, you, like, everything came out at the same speed, and it would have made a big sphere with, like, nothing in between. Yeah, if it did, I'll come out at the same speed. I don't know how many explosions you've seen, but all the ones I've seen, they normally aren't spherical, and they normally got, like, s stuff in the middle. They're not hollow. So it's got a bunch of swirling things in the middle. You know, kind of, sort of, you know, kind of, anyway. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you see, another problem with the Big Bang is that everything is speeding up as it goes out. Well, that's not a problem with the Big Bang. That's more of a problem with gravity. I don't think, I don't think the scientists have the gravity right down where they should. So if you've got a problem with that, well, just stop believing in gravity. I mean, it's just a theory, right? It's stupid scientists and theories. Okay, evolution. I can, I can tell. Catholic. And you think their universe was created 6,000 years ago. You're doing a little bit better than the Pastafarians. And you want to know, well, what happened to all those other primitive like missing link cavemen people that the Neanderthals or Neanderthals, you know, why don't we have you know, either of those groups running around? Actually, yeah, why don't we even have the missing links? You know, why don't we have like little bee giraffes? We've got the big ones, we've got to start from the small ones, you know. I mean it would have to be like I mean, you know, it have to sort of look like this. You know, you got the you got the little eight man and he goes up and he's got the walking oh Tooth Fairy. I've got a bunch of giraffes. Oh, Tooth Fairy. I guess I believe in the tooth fairy. Uh, yeah, so why don't I have the little ones? You know, eat lots of grass, eat a little bit less grass. You know, from the tree, I, I can't, can't reach, oh, I'm dying. That's why we got the big ones, you know. Fit, not so fit. You know, survival of the fittest, hey, you know, you might have heard that. Hey, I ought to be a teacher for like little kids. Oh, an elephant. Can we name what that is, kids? Hey, you know, well, why don't we have like different kind of elephants? They couldn't have just... A pop from like a whale, and a whale just came up and grew some legs or something. We'd probably have to have some other kind of elephant looking thing, like like a trunk and tusk and big ears. You know, like maybe during the Ice Age, maybe it was like real big and fat and like hairy. Maybe it was like a some kind of like mammoth woolly elephant or something. You know, where are those things? You know, <laughs> you can't find any of those things running around. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, what happened to those primitive cavemen? Well, we uh, killed the leopard, we took some bones, and we beat the brains in. Well, it's mostly over a religious difference rather than food. They wouldn't believe in our uh, forest fairies, so we had to kill them all. That's pretty much the theory. 
Okay, uh, that's your questions. You also asked, uh, you know, why don't uh, Christians, you know, defend their religion like the Muslims do? You know, some people make fun of their religions, and they go around bombing and killing and burning and rioting. So why don't the Christians have as much faith? Well, for one thing, I'm glad they don't have as much faith. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, because they kind of think it's silly. Maybe they're more civilized. I hope, I hope a bunch of Christians are going to answer and say, oh, because we're not barbarians like everybody else is, right? Or, no, it's probably much. Y'all just don't have enough faith. Y'all are kind of wimps. And you say, well, you know, if it was like the, like the Muslims, nobody would make fun of our God anymore. I mean, if you watch my first video, you know, the, you know Muhammad was a pedophile. I'm not afraid. It just, you know, it just makes it, it just makes all Muslims look bad. It makes them all look like terrorists. But hey, if you want to go to defend your religion about people that make fun of it, oh yeah, I got it. I got a good joke. Okay. So Jesus was hanging up on the cross, and he calls down to Peter. Peter, Peter, come here. So Peter comes up. Yes, my Lord. He's got Jesus' blood dripping on him. Peter, I've got something important to tell you before I join my Father in heaven. So here's, yes, my Lord, what is it? Peter, I, I can see your house from here. <laughs>